My name is Janetta Muranko. I am a product design engineer and currently a PhD student at London South Bank University. In the final year of my BSc engineering product design course, I undertook the project with London South Bank University's enterprise and worked on a development and design of the sous vide oven. The project was an interdisciplinary collaboration between Dr. Christopher Brock, a biochemist and food scientist, and myself, a product design engineer with expertise in engineering, uh, product design and user experience. Sous vide is a method of cooking food. It's a little bit like slow cooking, except that the temperature at which you cook the food is much more precisely controlled. It's used in commercial kitchens, but not very much domestically, so we were thinking, how can we get over that problem? My first step was to speak to the engineering department and find out how we could make this happen. What we did was um, propose the idea to the final year project students and invite any of them who are interested to apply to do this as, as a final year project. The development of the project was very exciting, especially because of the commercial potential it had. The IP was discussed throughout the project, uh, especially as by working on it we have naturally generated new ideas. We had to protect our IP and this is when we applied for a patent. Both partners need to understand the potential for IP because until you have submitted the patent application, if you tell people about it, then you lose the intellectual property. You've got to be aware that the, the potential for IP is there and act accordingly in terms of dealing with the information as confidential. Having a patent application filed, or even better, a patent granted, as we have in this case, is a very good thing to have on your CV. It shows not only have you been able to do some fundamental science, but you've been able to uh, exploit that and, uh, and take it towards commercialisation. The whole journey has inspired me to move forward with my ideas and always bear in mind the potential for them being commercialised. As a university, we all are generating some new IP and new ideas, therefore it's essential for everyone to understand what IP is. For me as a student, granting the IP validated the invention, but also was a personal achievement.